welcome back to my channel and hello if you are new here <laughs> this morning I'm going to be working on some of my orders and let's have a look at what I've got to do just having a look here I have got a glitter dupe bag to do two mugs a rustic cake topper another rustic cake topper a makeup part cake topper, makeup part and another cake topper and some hair bows. So let's get cracking with them. Standing underneath the lights Look into each other's eyes Tired snowflakes are coming down Collapse into water when they hit the ground I hear the sound of empty streets Yesterday has gone to sleep that's left is you and me I can promise you're the only thing I see Hold my hand and hear the words I say Close your eyes and let us fade away Build a secret place for you and me 
to be talking you through the sublimation process and breaking it down into the different steps and the settings that I personally use. I currently have one mug that I am doing whilst I talk you through this so two seconds it's about to be ready. Whilst this mug cools down, I will show you the process using my pencil pot. So I will show you that now. I'll just flip the camera around. Okay, so here is the design that I made in Procreate. I ripped this out earlier, added some text, and then I flipped it and saved it as a PDF. I am then going to go over to my computer and open the PDF. I'm going to click print, let's put you down, and I'm going to go to my Ricoh SG3110DM printer, and that looks a little bit big, so I'm going to scale that down a little bit to 80%. Hit print. This is the Ricoh printer. <laughs> You always need to make sure your image is reversed and this is a special sublimation paper and a sublimation ink. To be able to get a successful print you need to print onto sublimation coated items. So I'm going to go and get a pot now. I'm just going to put my design out. I'm just going to use a scrap mug for this to test it as this one came out a little bit brown as you can see and then I'm using a heat transfer tape I'm then going to line this up and then I set this at a temperature of 346, 48, something like that. Pop the design in. And I like to do it at a time of around 100 seconds or so. So once it's got to temperature, it will beep, and then I will click the timer down, and that will be my time that I give the mug. Here is my reverse design for my other one. This one's now ready, so set that to the 100 timer. Because they are super hot to handle, it's best you get some heat resistant gloves so you can handle the hot item. Here is the design part of the press. I 
never felt tomorrow closing in this fast oh I guess time's in a rush leaves are falling down but at least they grow back while I'm on a one-way track for my photos I'm going to be using my 50mm lens again just so I can get a low F number here. That will give me my blurred background. Yeah, now I know the time I got it is just enough to get by. Yeah, it is just enough to get by. next week so don't think I've got time this week but it's there and it's ready so over the next week I think I'm going to work on some patterns that I can create for this let's put that aside for now first thing I do is open the PDF that I've created in Procreate and upload it to my iCloud so I'm just gonna go ahead and open that here is the design and then I'm just going to go ahead and click print and send it to the Rico printer. Let's do a couple of copies. heat press at a temperature of 185 degrees or so and a time of 60 seconds. Patreon wallpaper, but I thought it'd be quite nice on a mousepad, so I'm gonna try printing this now and see what results I get. I think this one will work, we'll see how it works out though. I think it might be too pale. I've gone for a personalised one, so see with a pink splash on. And then I've also done this one which I think is quite cool in the same in the same print that I did my pots which with a like marker type pen.
these are how they've turned out. So those were the two earlier. Printed the one that had a texture to my letter in. This one, I've done a personalized one. And then this one, which I love how it's come out. And then this is the one that didn't work. It's, you can't really see it through the screen, but it's come out really, See if I can see it in a bit like that's more of a true colour. It's come out really yellow, so it doesn't work. I did add a texture as well, which I don't think works. So I'm gonna disregard that one. When I was doing this one, the sketch make repeat, I then had an idea. I thought that fabric that I just bought, which I was going to try next week to do some bows with, I thought. That could work quite well in these hoops sublimate onto the special satin fabric so it just came to me and i thought let's give it a go so i'm going to get that fabric back out and we're going to see how it works so here's my fabric and I'm gonna, this is the side of the sublimation, so I'm just gonna place it here and tape it down. And I don't know what times or settings this is gonna be, so we're just gonna have to have a complete guess. I need to change this pressure. I had it on medium and I need it on quite tight. So that that I wasn't expecting it at all. It was a bit, a bit fluff there. Um, I think I'm going to go and photograph it along with the mouse mats and I might pop it up on my wall. So, yeah, I think I might pop it here. But first, let's take some photographs. Thank you as always for watching. 
it's always really appreciated. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next vlog.